Mellotrons are great for adding texture and interest to a track. This precursor of the modern sampler used pre-recorded tapes that played when you press the keys down. As you're probably aware, many classic bands use these instruments in their tracks, including the Beatles, David Bowie and the Rolling Stones. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these original beasts left, and the ones that do exist are very expensive and hard to maintain. In this video, I'm going to use the far cheaper method of exploring making Mellotron sounds with multi-track tape recorders, and effectively turning them into a tape-based instrument. I'm going to try using an 8-track and a 4-track Porter Studio to see what options they offer. Let's start off using a Tascam 424 for string sounds. I'll use a software instrument in Logic to record four separate notes on to four tracks. For this experiment, I'm going to loop sounds in Logic and record them onto the entire length of a regular 90 minute cassette tape. Right, let's have a listen to what the strings sound like on tape. And of course you can adjust the pitch control here to alter the effect or the, the tuning. The other fun trick with the original 424 are the three speed controls. So we have high speed. And if we knock it down to normal, it drops an octave. And if you go to slow, it drops a further octave. So that's kind of quite useful with this sort of technique. So you can really kind of um, adjust things massively. It's moving extremely slowly on the, the slow speed setting. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got a track playing on the eight track and we're gonna try to play along with the uh, string sounds from the four track on this side. So I've just taken a stereo out of the 44 and popped that into the stereo inputs of the 488. So let's have a listen and see what it sounds like. Let's swap things around and use the 8-track for the next experiment. I'll record some guitar drones into Logic, uh, which I'll then loop around and record back into the 8-track. Right, let's get going. With this experiment, I've got a couple of tracks on the 4-track with drums and bass. And on the 8-track, I've got the guitar drones recorded across. Let's have a little listen to what these sound like first of all. So all the faders are turned down at the moment. This is an E minor scale with guitar drones. So obviously E, F, etc. So that's all the notes. I've got um, a full octave, so high E and low E here. You can obviously do kind of chord sounds as well. And play around the pitch wheel. Mm. 
Now, another thing to experiment with is obviously adding effects to these sounds as well. So at the moment, I've got a, a tremolo on the effects send. So what's that around here? So I'm going to pop that in. Let's pop on the E octaves on, first of all. And with tremolo. Right, let's try playing along with the track then. All the guitar parts are on here. I'm going to play it back through the stereo out, going into the stereo input across on the four track, and then just record that into Logic. Right, so firstly, I'll get the um, the tape tracks running from the Mellotron um, sound, if you like, so the eight track, and then I'm going to start up with the song we're playing along to on the four track. Now I can't do a video about Mellotrons without giving some choir sounds a go. So let's see what they sound like. your name a hundred a time believe no one was listening i've only just started delving into this technique but i can already see there's lots of potential to explore it further it's obviously quite different to using an actual mellotron but there's lots of scope for warping sounds and coming up with interesting textures to add to tracks hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if you've got any questions or even suggestions please let me know in the comments below